okay uh, today we are going to see the fourth unit transients okay so uh, in the previous class we discussed the fifth unit the two port network okay so uh, from now onwards the fourth unit it is a transient so what does it mean by transient means so you know uh, in house in anything all electrical devices are uh, connected via one switch correct ah so nama veetle paatham appadina all electrical ella device ku nama direct ah supply kudukala enna pandrom we are giving supply via one electrical switch okay so what is the use of uh, that thing why we are connecting via one electrical switch okay so the analysis of that particular circuit we are calling it as a transient okay so if directly the supply is connected to the particular circuit means so the current is continuously flowing the constant current is always flowing through the particular circuit so adha nam idu vara discuss panadhi in first unit and second unit ellame nam problem idu varaikku nam solve panna problems all problems are so the supply that is uh, the voltage source or current source is directly connected to the particular circuit so uh, we are calculating what is the current or what is the voltage across the particular device we discussed okay so in this unit we are going to connect uh, the electrical components or electrical devices to the supply via one switch okay app if the switch is in on condition means at the time only uh, the voltage supply okay that clear you see this circuit you see this is the one circuit diagram okay here uh, this is mentioned as a switch okay so if uh, that is a Uh, in particular time the switch is connected in position 1 okay so after a particular time the switch is connected to 2 means the current flowing through the particular this resistor and this capacitor it will vary okay uh, since uh, if the switch is connected to position 1 means so here the 100 volt battery is there okay so because of this 100 volt battery so there is some current is flowing through the circuit so that current is different correct at time uh, greater than 0 at some time so we are changing the switch position to this 1 to 2 okay this 1 to 2 so at the time so we are getting uh, this component is getting supply from the minus 50 volt battery okay so at the time the current flowing through this uh, device it will vary okay so the study of this type of current this type of analysis we are calling it as a transient analysis okay so transient analysis and you know so the three types of electrical uh, devices we are using okay so that the device may be purely resistive device or uh, inductive device capacitive device that is what is the meaning means so you know the three types of uh, passive components okay resistor inductor and capacitor okay appa resistor you know so nama first unit la la resistor vechi da full la padam okay that is if it is a dc circuit appadina the circuit is full and full having the resistor with some supply okay appa we are using the kirchhoff's voltage law current law or theorems that is nodal analysis mess analysis or any theorem thevenin's theorem norton's theorem or uh, using any theorem we solved what is the current flowing through the particular resistor or particular device we solved it. okay so that current is always constantly flowing through the resistor okay app if our electrical device is a purely resistive device means so the purely resistive devices will allow instantaneous change in current and voltage that is what is instantaneous change in voltage appadina if on the circuit la vandu you just consider uh, we are connecting only one resistor with some supply voltage of 50 volt okay appa the current flowing through the particular uh, the circuit is so what is the current flowing through the that particular resistor means that voltage uh, divided by that particular resistance okay adha nama potom appadina we will get some uh, for example 100 milliamps appadina always the current flowing through the particular resistor is 100 milliamps okay so what is the meaning nama supply kudutham appadina odane enna pannu instant at at the moment itself the current flowing through the resistive device it will vary okay similarly the voltage is also instantaneously varying okay sadana நம்ம இன்புட் கொடுத்தோம் அப்படினா அந்த இன்புட் கேத்த மாதிரி சடனா நமக்கு என்ன இருக்கும் அப்படினா ரெஸ்பான்ஸ் இருக்கும் தட் இஸ் செட் டு பீ தி ரெசிஸ்டர் ஓகே தி இன்டக்டிவ் டிவைஸ் தட் இஸ் யூ ஜஸ்ட் கன்சிடர் இன்டக்டர் L ஓகே பட் இன் இன்டக்டர் L இப்போ நம்ம டைம் t 0 वी आर அப்ளைங் சம் வோல்டேஜ் 100 வோல்ட் அப்படினா யூ ஜஸ்ட் இஃப் யூ ஆர் மெஷரிங் தி கரண்ட் ஃப்ளோயிங் த்ரூ தி இன்டக்டர் மெஷர் பண்ணோம் அப்படினா அட் டைம் t 0 தி கரண்ட் ஃப்ளோயிங் இஸ் 0 only ஓகே ஈவன் தோ நம்ம சப்ளை அப்ளை பண்ணாலும் தி கரண்ட் ஃப்ளோயிங் த்ரூ தி டிவைசஸ் இனிஷியலி 0 ஓகே so the current flowing through the inductor is slowly increasing okay slowly increasing of a zero 
then point 0.1, point 0.2, point 0.3 number in our home exponentially the current flowing through the device it will increase after a particular time only the correct current the maximum current is flowing through the inductor okay so similarly the capacitor okay you just connect one voltage source with one capacitor c means out the time that is the voltage across the capacitor it not instantaneously changing adey mari capacitor paathana voltage across the capacitor is not suddenly ipo voltage kudutha na the voltage full ave capacitor la poi odane store aagadu because you know the capacitor capacitor is a energy store capacitor and inductor is a energy storage element okay appa sudden ah vande energy store panadu slowly it will store the energy exponentially it will store the energy okay so that's why the inductive device and the capacitive device will not allow sudden change in current inductive device will not allow sudden change in current okay so the current flowing through the inductor is slowly increasing similarly capacitor pathona voltage across the capacitor is not suddenly increasing okay so these are all the thing anadha you just consider or best example eduthitinga na ipo namu oru nama veetla vandu motor vechirukom motor illana vandu fan you just take it as a fan as a example appa fan vandu if you are switching on the fan appadina odane full speed la namakku sutuda okay so on the full speed la namakku fan vandu sutad initially okay at a time t equal to zero neenga switch on pandringa na on panna odane enna aagudhu switch vandu that is fan vandu full speed la rotate aagudhu enna pannom slow ah da namakku vandu enna aagum namakku vandu rotation kodudhu then after a particular period of some or uh, or uh, uh, one second illa vandu or 20 seconds ku apuram namakku enna aagum na full speed la the fan is rotating so after that the uh, fan is rotating in the same full speed correct ah so that is the best example for this one uh, since uh, the the fan is having inductor and capacitor inside it correct ah so the energy storage element which or electrical device irundhuchu appadina the current flowing through the particular electrical device is not instantaneously changing okay that is the thing okay so appa here so appa because of this one appa first in the fan initially the current flowing is some minimum amount okay appa when time increases increases the current flowing through the that particular fan is increasing increasing correct appa appa what is the current appa with respect to time what is the current flowing through the fan illana what is the voltage across the particular device so other particular study da we are calling it as a transient analysis purinjada ipo nama idu varaikum previous units la paathad ellame steady state analysis that is steady state appadina ipo on the circuit la vande ipo 5 amps flow agum appadina always the current flowing through the uh, current flowing through the particular uh, circuit vande 5 amps only okay the constant value is flowing but in the switching vechirka circuit la patha appadina the current flowing through the particular device it will vary with respect to time okay so that is it to be the transient analysis the study of switching condition in a circuit is called transient analysis idha definition two mark la kekkalam what is transient analysis nammoda unit e vandu indha transient analysis dhaan so the study of switching condition in a circuit is called transient analysis okay appa next transient period period nala you know time correct ah but what is transient period means the time duration from the instant of switching till the attainment of steady state ipo nama switch on pannadilende but the time t equal to 0 la nama switch on pandrom appadina on pannite ipo fan vandu rotate aaga start pannudhu and the time la rendu fan vandu full speed la rotate aaga start pannadilaya and the time varaikum and the full speed la rotate aagura da it is called as a steady state okay appa switch on pannadilende and the steady state reach pandra varaikum ulla the time it is called as the transient period okay so the transient period is the time duration from the instant of switching till the attainment of steady state correct ah appa the time elapses between switching on the fan okay to the the fan rotating in full speed so that time difference we are calling it as a transient period okay then transient response so response you know you know the word response response means output okay or circuit oda output it is called as response அப்ப what is transient response அப்ப இந்த மாதிரி நம்ம இன்டக்டிவ் கெபாசிட்டிவ் காம்போனன்ட் ஒரு सर्किटல நம்ம யூஸ் பண்ணோம் அப்படினா அப்ப what is the current and what is the voltage across the particular element during this transition period it is called as the transient response okay so நம்ம இதல வந்து இத பாக்க போறோம் அப்ப for that particular circuit we are going to see what is the current flowing through the particular element இல்லனா voltage so problem நமக்கு என்ன கேக்குறாங்களோ அத வந்து நம்ம சால்வ் பண்ணனும் okay so it is said to be the transient so understand aicha okay so if 
one one circuit is having full and full resistive component appadina the current flowing through the resistor is always constant it is steady state value okay but if the circuit is having one inductor and a capacitor okay or capacitor la or inductor la illa combination of inductor capacitor enna vena varla so in the mari energy storage elements irundichu appadina that device it will not uh, it will not allow the sudden change in current and voltage okay so that deviation we are calling it as a transient so the analysis of that particular circuit is to be the transient analysis okay so now we are going to find the current flowing through the particular device okay so you just take a um, so example for the circuit you see so idha nammoda circuit so this is said to be the uh, this is said to be the one rl circuit okay you see this is a rl circuit so in this thing we are going to see the three circuit rl circuit rc circuit rlc circuit rl means resistor and inductor connected in series rc means one resistor and here instead of this inductor capacitor is connected in series then rlc means inductor capacitor and resistor connected in series na rlc ipo in the three circuits ku da vandu full ave in the unit full ave in the three circuits ku different input different types of input apply panna porom so idu ena input you know odu vandu this is battery in the battery vandu enadhu it is a dc source okay dc source this is one type of source so in the source illama inno nare type of sources irukku okay so we are going to apply the four different types of input apa four and the four different type of input ku how this circuit it will respond okay so apa indha vandu four type of input three type of circuit apa four into three twelve topic ट्वेल्थ टॉपिक में निगे ऊर्र टॉपिक डेलीवर पढ़ चुके हैं ना फोड़ो ट्वेल्थ टॉपिक को वरे मधे डेरिवेशन ना डेट इस डेरिवेशन और प्रॉब्लम के क्लाउ पुरे जिधा सो सेम थिंग ओके इट इस वेरी इजी हाँ ओके सो वी विल सी सो बिफोर दैट वन इपन आसो ने सो हियर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द we are going to apply four different types of input okay so what are all the different types of input available in our electrical i mean first neenga therinjala namu vanda the analysis panna mudiyum okay so you just see so some standard input signal and voltage function so ipo inda inda topic da vande ungalku adut third semester la signals and system so adume naan da handle panna poren so andha paper la inda topic da first topic e vande signals and system first unit la first topic e idu da அப்ப அங்க இன்னும் நம்ம டீடைலா படிக்கலாம் இப்போ வந்து ஜஸ்ட் நீங்க என்ன அப்படினு மட்டும் தெரிஞ்சுக்கோங்க ஓகே சோ சம் ஸ்டாண்டர்ட் இன்புட் சிக்னல்ஸ் யூஸ்ட் இன் அவர் நம் கம்யூனிகேஷன் சிஸ்டம் ஆர் சிக்னல்ஸ் ஓகே சோ நம்ம யூஸ் பண்ண நம்மளோட ஃபீல்ட்ல நாம என்ன இன்புட் சிக்னல்ஸ் मोस्टலி இந்த எலக்ட்ரிக்கல்ல யூஸ் பண்ணோம் அப்படினா தி ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஒன் இஸ் இம்பல்ஸ் சிக்னல் ஓகே இம்பல்ஸ் சிக்னல்னாலும் வோல்டேஜ்னாலும் ஒண்ணுதான் கரெக்ட்டா இம்பல்ஸ் வோல்டேஜ் தி இம்பல்ஸ் வோல்டேஜ் தி நோட்டேஷன் ஆஃப் இம்பல்ஸ் வோல்டேஜ் இஸ் டெல் ஆஃப் டி ஓகே so this is the very basic standard signal ipo in the signal vand it is used in uh, electrical instrumentation control system ellathilayum in the del of t ingra signal vand it plays a very important role okay inga adut padika poringa next semester vand signal system padika poringa communication and control system in the papers la padikum bodhu in the signals ellame kandipa varum okay so it is a one test signal ipo or nama system or design pannitom appadina and the system that is or a circuit design pannu appadina adha test pandrathukku nama indha signal la first start kudupom okay so it is a very important signal used in our field okay so you know so this impulse signal so what is this impulse signal means dc signal la you know ipo idhu varaiku nama paatha 10 volt battery 5 volt battery that is a dc signal what is dc signal with respect to that is uh, irrespective of time the voltage provided by the particular voltage source remains constant okay that is 5 volt battery na it is always giving 5 volt supply to the particular circuit 10 volt battery means uh, the constantly 10 volt supply is always given to the particular circuit it is a dc okay that is a one type of source okay so this is another type of standard signal so what is this del of t na you, you see the diagram so this is the uh, signal the signal oda diagram so with respect to t we are drawing the del of t signal so you see the del of t when the del of t signal at t equal to 0 the del of t the impulse signal is whose amplitude is infinite okay up at t equal to 0 la matum the impulse signal is available at t equal to either 1 2 3 4 adha mari minus 1 minus 2 la pathina there is no signal 
this type of signal is said to be the impulse signal appa impulse appadina or t equal to zero la motta nam enna pandrom appadina or short a or that is idoda duration la illa okay duration la kedaiyadhu duration illama or short period la sadana or high voltage vanda and the circuit ku apply pandrom that uh, that signal we are calling it as a impulse signal okay so you see the definition uh, mathematical description parunga del of t equal to infinity at a time t equal to zero and zero when t not equal to zero correct ah so this is the mathematical expression for this signal appa so, the impulse signal whose amplitude is infinity at a time t equal to zero zero when time t not equal to zero okay this is the impulse signal okay this is a one type of signal we are using in this okay and the next one uh, step signal okay so step you see the word step அப்ப ஸ்டெப் என்னது இப்ப நம்ம ஏர் ரோல்ல ஒரு ஸ்டெப் அப்ப அந்த ஸ்டெப் எப்படி இருக்கு யூ சி தி வேவ் ஃபார்ம் லைக் திஸ் அப்ப அந்த ஸ்டெப் சிக்னல் தட் இஸ் அட் டைம் t இஸ் less than 0 ஓகே தி டைம் t less than 0னா இந்த மைனஸ் இன்ஃபினிட்டி டு 0 தி சிக்னல் இஸ் ஹேவிங் தி ஆம்ப்ளிடியூட் 0 ஓகே அட் டைம் t 0 தி ஆம்ப்ளிடியூட் இஸ் சடன்லி ரைஸ்ட் டு சம் மேக்ஸिमम வேல்யூ அப்ப இந்த eங்கிறது ஒரு வேல்யூ திஸ் e may be 1 2 3 4 என்ன வேல்யூ வேணா இருக்கலாம் ஒரு கான்ஸ்டன்ட் the constant we are mentioning it as a e up at time t equal to 0 the amplitude is suddenly raised after that we are the uh, the value of that particular step signal is always constant it is said to be the u it is said to be the step appa step appadina enadhu one particular time that is at time t equal to 0 up to time t equal to 0 the amplitude is zero at t equal to 0 the amplitude is suddenly increased and maintains as a constant value this is said to be the step okay அப்ப இந்த ஸ்டெப் வந்து எது மாதிரி இருக்கு லைக் அ டிசி சிக்னல் ஓகே அப்ப ஸ்டெப் இன்புட்னாலும் டிசி இன்புட் அப்ளை பண்றோம் அந்த சர்க்யூட்டுக்குனாலும் இட் இஸ் ரிமைன் சேம் ஓகே அப்ப இட் இஸ் டிஃபைன்ட் as the step signal v of t equal to e e is a constant it may be any value 1 2 3 4 எது வேணா இருக்கலாம் ஓகே e for t greater than or equal to 0 for time t less than 0 it is 0 it is a step signal ஓகே so in step there is a unit step is there okay unit na you know what is mean by unit unit na nadu one abdin meaning appa if this step signal is having the amplitude one appa inda e irukka place la one nu potta abdina that signal that standard signal we are calling it as a unit step signal appa unit step signal ku there is a standard notation is that u of t so u of t equal to one for t greater than or equal to zero zero for t less than zero okay by this amplitude e if you are mentioning it as a one means it is called as the step signal okay so this is the second input we are going to apply for the rl rc and rlc circuit okay you just see uh, just therinjikonga idu okay uh, then the third input exponential voltage so you know the word exponential what is mean by exponential that function is exponentially increasing with respect to time so you see the waveform so from the waveform so you see at a time up to time t equal to 0 the voltage is 0 at a time t equal to 0 or greater than 0 the voltage is exponentially increasing okay linear means the scale which is straight up on exponential la indha mari curve up on so this is a exponential signal so the expression for the exponential signal is e into e power at correct where e is a constant this constant may be one arundhuchina simply the expression is e power at e na you know this okay the small e na exponential neenga padichupingala max la exponential function e power ax okay instead of x here we are uh, we are seeing the variable as a time okay nammalo time vandu t potrukom so e power at this is the exponential signal okay this is a third type of input and the fourth type of input is sinusoidal signal okay adu you know okay there are two types of sinusoidal signal is there one is sin another one is cosine okay so you know the standard expression for sin and cosine wave okay what is the standard expression for sin and cosine wave this em em means some amplitude the signal is having some amplitude you know that amplitude adha neenga a podlam v podlam e podlam idu vena podukalam okay so em into sin omega t plus pi okay where pi is a phase shift of the particular signal omega is a angular frequency similarly the cosine signal is em into cos omega t plus pi okay these are all the sin and cosine signal okay so you know the difference between sin and cosine signal it is a 90 degree phase shifted signal the shape of this two signal is remain same okay sin wave you know sin wave pathala sin wave but what is the difference between these two signal na the phase shift is 90 degree 
between these two signals okay so these are all the four different signal we are going to apply for this r four three circuits one is impulse signal impulse signal means velocity you know impulse signal means the signal is available for at a time t equal to zero only okay for the remaining time it will not uh, appeared okay step signal means for t greater than or equal to zero the value is constant okay exponential signal means with respect to time the amplitude of the exponential signal is exponentially increasing sign means sinusoidally the shape is varying okay and so in order to solve this uh, rl rlc circuit so we have to uh, you should know the laplace transform okay so ninga max la ipa padichirpinga laplace transform seri padikalana inime inda inda semester ungalku varum appadi illana just in the expressions mattum paathukonga okay so what is laplace what is transform means you know transform any of the transform you studied in first semester or second semester na padichirkingla okay don't know okay next ipa nama signals la vandu we are going to study the four transform fourier transform laplace transform z transform dtp and so on okay idu ellame nama signals oda portion na okay adukku munadi inga circuits la vandu how idu vandu use aagudhu appdi solliranga ninga max la irukom okay right so laplace transform transform binale the name you know the name transform what is transform it is used to convert one form into another form okay about the mathematical tool laplace transform it is used to convert the time domain signal into s domain signal okay ipa nama inga paatha signals ellame del of t u of t exponential signal sine signal idellame enadhu then is v of t u of t what is v of t idu vera dc voltage appadina just we are mentioning it as a 10 volt 20 volt appadi dhaan potirpom anga time e varadhu ena irrespective of time the dc voltage dc voltage is always constant value adhu vandha or constant ana indha signal la paathona with respect to time it will vary if a del of t paatha at time t equal to 0 la mattuna infinity meedi time ku vandha no value similarly step voltage means it is having the amplitude of some constant value from 0 to infinity okay similarly exponential signal with respect to time the amplitude of the exponential signal it will vary very differently okay of all these four type of signal it will vary with respect to time okay appa these signals are time domain signals okay appa in order to convert this time domain signal into the laplace transformed value we are using the transform laplace transform okay இப்ப இங்க வந்து இந்த ஆன்சர்ஸ் மட்டும் நீங்க ஞாபகம் வச்சுக்கோங்க இதோட இந்த இந்த இது எல்லாமே நமக்கு சிக்னல்ஸ் அண்ட் சிஸ்டம்ல இது எல்லாமே நம்ம படிப்போம் இது எல்லாமே தனித்தனி கொஷின் இங்க வந்து யூ ஜஸ்ட் இந்த ஆன்சர்ஸ் மட்டும் பாத்துக்கோ நம்ம இந்த இது சால்வ் பண்றது ஓகே அப்ப த லாப்லஸ் ட்ரான்ஸ்ஃபார்ம் ஆஃப் டெல் ஆஃப் டி இஸ் 1 ஓகே த லாப்லஸ் ட்ரான்ஸ்ஃபார்ம் ஆஃப் இ இ மீன்ஸ் இட் இஸ் a கான்ஸ்டன்ட் ஓகே இங்கிறது ஏதோ ஒரு கான்ஸ்டன்ட் வேல்யூ ஒரு 10 ஒரு 10ங்கற ஒரு கான்ஸ்டன்ட் வேல்யூக்கு நம்ம லாப்லஸ் ட்ரான்ஸ்ஃபார்ம் எடுத்தோம் அப்படினா வாட் இஸ் தி ஆன்சர் மீன்ஸ் தட் கான்ஸ்டன்ட் டிவைடட் பை s ஓகே இந்த sங்கற தான் லாப்லஸ் ட்ரான்ஸ்ஃபார்ம் வேரியபிள் ஓகே அப்ப இந்த கான்ஸ்டன்ட் e இப்ப இந்த கான்ஸ்டன்ட் e எங்க வருது ஸ்டெப் வோல்டேஜ்ல வருதா வாட் இஸ் ஸ்டெப் வோல்டேஜ் தி ஸ்டெப் வோல்டேஜ் ஹூஸ் வேல்யூ இஸ் கான்ஸ்டன்ட் ஓகே அப்ப ஃபார் தி கான்ஸ்டன்ட் தட் இஸ் ஸ்டெப் வோல்டேஜ்க்கு லாப்லஸ் ட்ரான்ஸ்ஃபார்ம் எடுத்தோம் அப்படினா வாட் இஸ் தி ஆன்சர் தட் கான்ஸ்டன்ட் வேல்யூ டிவைடட் பை s கரெக்ட்டா and e power 80 exponential signal so exponential signal whose laplace transform answer is 1 by s minus a inga e power la plus a n irundhuchina we have to put here minus a similarly e power minus 80 means whose laplace transform is 1 divided by s plus a idu paathukonga here minus means here plus inga plus appadina inga minus okay similarly sin omega t the laplace transform of sin omega t is omega divided by s square plus omega square okay similarly cos omega t laplace transform answer is s by s square plus omega z you see in the two ku parunga two ku vandu denominator is same numerator da different inga omega inga s okay so this is the uh, laplace transformed answer for the particular four type of signal you see del of t impulse signal whose laplace transform is 1 one constant value whose laplace transform is the particular constant divided by s e power 80 means 1 by s minus a e power minus 80 means 1 divided by s plus a sin omega t means omega by s square plus omega square 
cos omega t means s divided by s squared plus omega squared okay so these are all the laplace transformed answer for problem okay so if you are why we are using the laplace transform in order to solve this circuit okay in the circuit analysis pandrakku why we are using laplace transform na the time domain analysis is very tedious okay so nama time domain la equation ezhudi idu solve pannalam but idu vandu it is very tedious if we when the laplace transform nam apply pannom appadina we will solve the problem in a very easiest manner okay so that is the use of applying laplace transform in this problem okay so uh, so we are going to see the first topic okay idellame introduction idella therinja da nama vandu solve panna mudiyum okay so just see idella vandu idu mattum padichukonga okay what idella two mark question transient analysis transition period transition response and idella just you, you understand ipo nama use panna porom okay idella thani question kedaiyadhu you just idu understand panna da nama unga problem paaka mudiyum and this answer you should remember okay so the first topic nam paakalam so the first one uh, transient analysis of rl circuit okay so the first one transient response or transient analysis response appadina now we are going to find out the current i of t when the circuit would output appadina enna the i of t so we are going to find the current i of t of this rl series circuit to step input okay so first we are going to apply the input as a step input a step input now what is the meaning the constant voltage ipo in the question vandu step input nu solla dc excitation nu solla rendume onnu da okay so the transient response of rl series circuit to step input or dc input okay same answer da okay so if you just consider rl circuit what is rl circuit one resistor and one inductor connected in series okay series with what is the input we are applying step input appa the step input ku you know the notation nammalo battery maadi pollala illa na vandu or round potuta anga inga vandu step signal appdi kuduthirupanga so here the input applied is you just consider as a v okay sometime in the v ku badala e kuda kudukalam okay some books la voltage of v nu solvanga e capital e nu pollala rendume onnu da okay and this voltage source is not directly connected to rl okay here we are using one switch therka this is switch okay idha vandu switch so in the switch vandu initially open condition la irukku okay initially open condition you just consider consider rl circuit shown in figure where the switch is closed at t equal to 0 at a time t equal to 0 la in the switch nam enna panna porom close panna porom appa before that what is the current flowing through the circuit it is zero ena idu open switch vandu open appadina idu enna circuit it's a open circuit you know in electrical circuit in open circuited condition la the current flowing through the device this resistor and inductor is zero you know okay so by initially the current flowing through this r and l is zero okay before time t equal to zero so adha mention padikom parunga at a time t equal to zero minus idu vandu zero bar kedaiyadhu zero minus appa zero minus na zero time ku munadi okay at the time t equal to 0 minus the switch was open okay switch was open so there is no current was flowing in the circuit so you just consider i of 0 minus equal to 0 correct ah i na current of 0 minus na the time time 0 minus irukumbodhu the current flowing through the particular circuit is zero okay then at the time t equal to 0 the switch is closed okay at the time t equal to 0 the switch is closed so the current flowing through the circuit is i of t okay appa inda close panna appadina the current flowing through the circuit vandu i of t appa idu close pannidom appadina we will form a one closed circuit okay appa closed circuit varuma appa for that closed circuit you just apply kvl okay idu or closed path appa we have to apply kvl appa what is the kvl equation for this loop so over here minus 2 plus voltage rise appa v equal to what is the voltage across the resistor r into i of t correct thana voltage across the resistor you know r into the particular current i of t inge i of t podrona adha transient analysis ena inga resistor mattum irundhuchina the steady state current it, it, it will flow okay but uh, in series with the resistor we are using energy storage element inductor so you know the concept of inductor the inductor the current flowing through the inductor it will not suddenly increases the current flowing through the inductor is slowly increases adanalada mm -hmm. with respect to time in the current oda value different a irukum adanalada nam mm enna -hmm. potrukom instead of current idu varaikku nam ie appadi dhaan paathirukom small i r capital i avana inga enna panikom i of t what is i of t it's a function 
the current it will vary with respect to t okay if a session log out i don't thirupi connect pannunga purinjida thirupi connect panna appadi poidada so we are applying uh, kvl to this loop okay so v equal to r into i of t plus what is the voltage across the inductor so nama first day formula kuduthirukom nama third unit le padichukom the voltage across the inductor formula is the particular inductor value into differentiation of the current flowing through the inductor so l into d i of t divided by dt correct ah l into d i of t divided by dt appa applying kvl to this one so v equal to r into i of t plus l into d i of t divided by dt appa we are having one differential equation so so namakitta ipo enna irukku appadina the first order differential equation appa in the differential equation nam enna pannom we have to solve okay neenga maths la padichu 